And joining us once again this morning is the executive chef from GDL, Gianna De Laurentiis. We have Brian Drosinos joining us this morning, and this is from her new restaurant, right? Yes, this is from GDL Italian. We're going to do a uh, Creste de Gallo pasta with uh, sweet onion carbonara. That okay. sounds so good. And you've got the uh, the meat over there for that. And I just want to bring out some of this pasta here to talk about why you call it what you do. Well, it's called Creste de Gallo, which is basically the crest of the rooster, right? So, you know, kind of the little, the little curly thing around the outside. Um, and that's what it looks like. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All and right. This one we have, uh, we have some pancetta. Mm -hmm and mm. some caramelized onions. Um, and then just a little bit of the pasta. Again, another again. simple dish yep. that's so easy and you're using that starch the, water the again. pasta water yeah. again. And then we, uh, we do a little cheese just like we did the nice. last time. And then that's gonna hold the sauce together. Super and then easy. the key with carbonara mm -hmm. is a, a cream and egg and cheese mixture that you're gonna add in off of the heat. So you don't uh, so you don't scramble the eggs. Yeah, right? right. And that's why you want to mix that up beforehand mm -hmm. before you put it in. And then too. it goes back on there, and it'll just tighten up a little bit. And then we do a little bit of chives, and we do a little bit of lemon again to brighten the dish. And that's in her new uh, cookbook as well. This is as well. Yes. What so, are some of the menu items that you guys serve there at the restaurant? So we do a uh, some of the popular ones, right? We do a crab arancini. Um, you said it's uh, like your own take on a crab yeah, it's cake? Yeah, like it's like our take on a Maryland crab cake. And then we do chicken parmesan, which is a, a super popular dish, right? Um, a little bit different. We don't bread it, so mm -hmm. it's a little bit healthier. Oh, nice. Um, and then uh, lasagna is a big seller. All of our pastas, of course. And you have pizza and on the menu. And we have brick oven pizza as well. How unique is it to be a restaurant right there in the middle of the casino? I think it's great. I mean, we get... We get both types of people, right? We get people who are coming in just for the yeah. food, and then we get the people who are there gambling, and then they take a little break, come over, get get some pasta, and then get, get a little something. Get to eat. Right, I'm gonna yeah. bring that back over so Absolutely. Jimmy can take a good look at that because yeah. you don't want to miss, you know, every all the different colors that are in there. So, what's the biggest mistake that people make with their pasta? I think just overcooking it, mm -hmm. honestly. You know, you want it to have a little bit of bite, and you want to take it out of the water a little bit before it's done and let it finish cooking in your sauce in the pan and then it soaks up all that stuff, right? So you get a little bit more flavor than you do if you just cook it and then put the sauce over the top of it. And a lot of people are sort of intimidated about making their own pasta, mm -hmm. but you would encourage people to at least give it a try, right? Absolutely. Yeah, this 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 pasta is flour and water. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah, only that's two it. ingredients. Flour right? and water, that's yeah. it. You yeah. don't put egg in yours? Not in this mm -hmm. particular, you know, shape of pasta. Yeah. All right, so when people come in, do you encourage them to make reservations? Yeah, we always encourage, but it's not necessary. You know, we have uh, we have we have space. If you, if you walk in, we have a, a large bar at the beginning, which is great. Um, Antipasti bar and pizzas open to the restaurant, so very welcoming and environment and and uh, casual experience, but but great home cooked food. And are you always making changes to your menu? We make seasonal changes, yeah. right? And then we'll run some specials from time to time, and um, you know, just kind of we've been open for about four weeks now, so. It's been great. And I love that you brought two dishes that show people how you can make something so elegant really within just minutes, very minimal effort. Yeah, I mean, making a pasta dish, as you see, takes about two to three minutes. Yeah. That, that's really it. You know, fresh pasta cooks in under two minutes. I'm so. telling you what, we're going to eat that in under two minutes, that's for <laughs> sure.